Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. 16 after the hour. Happy Friday. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Amber, uh, some active weather in the last 12 hours or so. Huh? Yeah, yesterday afternoon, another round of severe storms moved through. Now, by the time they made their way to central North Dakota around Highway 83, they weren't so severe, but they were still picturesque. Here's a picture from Christy. She took this in Northeast Bismarck. Very ominous picture there and still carrying some heavy downpours when it moved uh, through parts of central North Dakota as well. Thank you, Christy, for that picture. Here's where uh, the radar and satellites stand right now. You can see that line of rain and storms slowly moving through the Red River Valley. That's what brought us the severe storms yesterday uh, or that round of moisture. Rather, we still have some isolated showers and thunderstorms kind of lingering around Ward County. And in fact, I'm not seeing any lightning right now, so it looks like they're diminishing uh, and it looks like they'll continue to diminish through the morning. We'll get some sunshine this afternoon. Here's the average hour by hour today. We're back into the 80s with some 90s in the west, and we're looking at a pretty warm start today. 68 in Ashley, 64 in Harvey, 63 there in Stanley, 59 a cool spot there in Dickinson. Light southerly winds, even some southeasterly winds here. 5 to 10 is what we're looking at for today. Wind speed's not a factor, but highs are back into the 80s. So we are looking at another hot day, another muggy day, uh, around 90 off towards the west. So it is going to be uh, probably cloudy start for many of us in the southern half of the state. We decrease those clouds. We'll get some uh, sun this afternoon and keep an isolated shower as that low continues to push off towards the east. Now we'll keep the uh, quiet forecast tonight. It will be nice to have a bonfire as those lows drop to the 60s. The winds stay light. The skies stay mostly clear. We'll head into Saturday increasing the cloud cover just a little bit with chances for some rain and storms out ahead of a cold front that will eventually move through and so that line of rain and storms will develop uh, really into the afternoon. We'll see that more than likely kind of similar to what we saw yesterday and the day before where they develop in the afternoon from the daytime convection get a little stronger and so the possibility of large hail and damaging winds is there. Now we'll head into Sunday with another round of severe chances and you can see that it's mostly going to be for some Southern North Dakota as that cold front. This is a much stronger front that will push through and will influence our weather the next day. But you can see here by Sunday afternoon, we'll more than likely be talking about a chance for severe weather for parts of the south. So this is for Saturday. Uh, again, a marginal risk for folks in the west. And then on Sunday, our attention really diverts to southern and eastern North Dakota. Uh, so that's something you should know through the weekend that it could be a little busy, but these are going to be very isolated showers and thunderstorms. So you have a good chance of getting missed as well. Keep that in mind. Just keep that radar app handy with you. Here's the Dickinson three day forecast starting off with some sunshine or at least some mostly clear skies. That sun is rising. Uh, I do. I do have some fog developing south of uh, Dickinson as well. Upper 80s for the weekend. Here's the Williston three day forecast. It will be hot over the next couple of days with chances for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Now we are cooling down. And you can see that we've got some low 80s in Minot by Monday, some sunshine, and then we'll have even some upper 70s towards the end of next week. And you know, even when you're in, uh, when your high is going to be 80, like on Wednesday, you spend most of your day, most of your afternoon in the 70s. But here's the Bismarck seven day forecast. We go from uh, mid to upper 80s with a uh, heat and humidity to cooling down to some upper 70s towards the end of next week. And I also see still several days, lots of opportunity for sunshine here. But hot weather lovers, you know, it will last, of course, it almost always does into yeah. August, into September sometimes. Yeah, this so. time of year, everybody's like, so is this the beginning of the end? No, 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 no. no. Uh, no average daytime highs will start going down from here, but not actual daytime highs. Yeah. Thanks, Amber. Still ahead on Good Day to